And thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve Pickett. We start with a live image there. That is from Chopper 11. That scene, the end of a violent chase. Two officers shot and injured there, and a suspect involved is dead. That chase involved a dart bus. Yes, that's a dart bus you see there. An active scene still continues. Garland police got the call around 11 this morning that a bus driver and a passenger were taken hostage on West Buckingham. That chase went into several cities before ending on the Bush Turnpike between Liberty Grove and Highway 66 in Rowlett. Now, Erin Jones, she is at that location. This is a big investigation involving several agencies, including, I understand, the FBI. That's right, Steve. It is. And the whole thing lasted about 45 minutes. And like you said, it went through multiple cities, eventually ending up here. You can see the bus right behind me. So now multiple agencies are investigating and the FBI, they've shut down traffic in both directions here on Highway 66. Police tell us that they are still searching for a motive in all of this. They say the man armed with a handgun approached the bus driver and told him to drive to an unknown location. Authorities were notified and multiple agencies responded. Police say the gunman was firing at the officers through bus windows and officers were firing back. A DART and Garland police officer were hit. They have what's described as non-life-threatening injuries and are expected to be okay. The driver and the one other passenger on the bus were not hurt. Now this all eventually ended when the bus rolled over spike strips that have been placed here on the highway. Throughout the entire time of the pursuit, shots were continually being fired from inside the bus to our officers, and officers were returning fire. The, the gunman exited the bus, and shots were continuing to be fired, and he was struck by our officers. And the suspect did die in the hospital. So far, police have not released his identity. And again, they are still looking in a motive for a motive in all of this. Steve? You, I know you spoke with DART officials regarding all of this. And the situation obviously could have been a lot worse had that stay at home order not been in place because clearly more people would be on those buses. Yes, that's one of the things that the DART officials said today. They say their buses have been practically empty lately, and there was only one passenger on board the bus today. They said this was really the best situation. And then police officers, they told us there were not a lot of drivers on the highway here. Another thing that they spoke about is how there is a neighborhood back here. When those shots were fired, they were concerned that some of the bullets might have hit one of these houses, but they've gone through the neighborhoods, and so far, everyone's okay. Steve? A lot more information to come from this, but again, it could have been a lot worse. Aaron Jones live at that location. Thank you so very much.